Welcome back, Mongo Fix. Well, this here's a big four foot fluorescent light. And today, Mongo want to change it over to LEDs. We'll get these bulbs out of here. And you can see now these little tabs, they kind of line right in. So when you t twist it enough, it'll come right out. And then you got to get the center out of there. So there's just a couple little clips in here. And you just pry it out just a little bit. Well, however they install this light, got to take the, this board off. So we can get the light out properly. We can lift this whole light down and do it right. And now that it's down, we got access to this little bolt there. Now we can actually take it apart. There's one on each side. Now it should be free to come out. And we can see our ballast in here. And of course they hard mount this to that piece of wood with these. So Mago going to change so it not hard mount no more. Don't like uh, not having access to stuff. Now that there the ballast. That's the reason we changing this because this ballast is starting to die. Sticker's starting to get deformed. You can see it's starting to overheat. Mongo hate ballast. The big downside with fluorescent lights is that you got two points that can fail. The ballast can fail and the bulbs don't work, or the bulbs can fail. Since this ballast going, putting LEDs in it. So we'll run up to the old batteries and bulb store and get some LED. There are two types of LEDs out there. The big thing to note is whether it says direct fit or bypass. So a direct fit mean that you just take your fluorescent bulb out, you twist in on these little posts, the LED, and you're done. It's a direct fit. It still uses the same ballast and everything. Then you've converted to LED lights. But because this ballast is bad, Mongo get the one that say bypass, because we're gonna take that ballast out of there and run it straight to these bulbs. And when we open one of these up, we get our bulb, some instructions, and a sticker. That sticker gotta go in the housing of the new one to let everybody know this has been modified for bypassing and for LEDs. It come with the instructions. Be sure to read those real good. Along with a diagram on how to wire up a one LED, two LED, four LED, and so on. So we are gonna do this one for the ballast retrofit. So this is what's normally in there. We're gonna turn it into this. You'll notice on the normal fluorescent, power has to go through the bulb because one side is say your power, the other side is your neutral or ground. So to make the bulb light, it has to go all the way through. On the LEDs, you have your power or your line input, and then your, the other side is the neutral or your ground. So therefore, you only need one side socket. Now, according to this drawing, it shows AC power coming in to the ballast. And then there's six wires coming out that go to the lamps. And it shows you which wires to cut if you're not sure. But not all these lamps the same. For example, we can see our AC power comes in here. And it comes over into the ballast. However, our neutral goes right out to these ends. Then on our ballast we have four wires on this side, a black, a yellow, and two blues, and then over here we have three wires, two reds and a yellow. So it's one of those, okay then, according to the instructions, which ones do we cut? In essence, basically cut all the wires around the ballast. This ballast is coming out. So we just get some cutters, and we cut all those wires off the ballast. So now we have a couple loose ends, and we can get that bolt off. And once you get that bolt out, it just slides right out of the way, and no more ballast. These things are pretty hefty, and be sure to recycle them or scrap them. They're worth a little bit of money. So you may wonder, well, Mongo, how can we cut the whole ballast out when the directions didn't say to? At the end of the day, we want it to look like this. Therefore, really, you could run your own wires if you want. We, either way, we need an AC source. That'll be the plug coming in here. And we need to split that AC so that the line or the power or the black wire comes into one bulb and in parallel it goes to another, to the L. 
and then from the neutral or the return both of those need to be split or paralleled off and go back to the outlet or plug. So really we don't need many of those other colored wires. We're gonna end up reusing some of these wires as our jumpers and whatnot and our splits. But we don't need anything relating to the ballast so we just cut it all off at the ballast so we have plenty of wire leads and line to play with. Before you get too far you want to make sure that these sockets are not shunted or in essence you want to make sure these two sockets are not connected together. You can check that with your voltmeter. Put it on the resistance, touch one side to the other side. And they are open. If for whatever reason they read resistance, then that would mean these are shunted. Or it would mean that the right side is connected to the left side. So if you energize one, you energize both. Before you do this, you want to make sure you have non-shunted, or you want to make sure that this wire leads to here, and that wire leads to there. And you can confirm that as well by touching the end of the wire. So you can see we have very low resistance, so we have really good continuity. And if we move this to our other side and touch this same yellow wire, we are still open. But if we touch to the blue wire, we should have good continuity. Yep, real low resistance. Now we're still going to need four of these total. You got to sport the ball by both ends, but only one of them is going to have wires. According to our drawing, only one of those ends has wires, the other does not. So we can reuse these. You got the option of either cutting them flush so that way they're just nothing there, or you can take a small little paper clip and push it into the very top of that wire connection and that wire comes right out and it's not strong enough to lock on to the small paper clip so push it in the top slide the wire out and the paper clip comes right out they'll take the wire back in and they'll hold tight so we got two with the wires pulled out and those will stand at the other end of the bulb just to support it now, if you want, you can go to the store for about five bucks. You can buy one of these. So if you want, you can get four brand new ones and wire it up all true. But Mongo just reuses. Now, on the end with the wires, we already have this. these white wires. They come off, and they're already separated in parallel to each side. And then there's a red and a blue wire connected to the opposite side. So we can leave that white wire arrangement just like it is. There's no need to mess with it. It's already in parallel. The blue and red, you got a couple options. Option one is you can cut this blue wire and feed it directly into the other socket next to that red wire. Now we did disconnect a red wire from the previous side, so you could use that red wire, strip a little bit off, stick it in the one side, pull the blue wire out like we saw, cut it so it's a similar length and stick the other end in there. And then down here, you would attach your red wire to the black wire. Then all the wire colors are kind of copacetic and uniform. Option two is to take and follow the blue and red wire all the way down to where it comes in. And you would cut and splice the blue, red, and black wire all together. And then your parallel separation would be way over here. At the end of the day, it's dealer's choice, however you would like to do it. Here is one option. These are still in parallel, and we take the blue and red wire and put them together with the black wire. And this is how you do, would do the option if you wanted to put in that red wire. Take the blue wire out and totally remove that. Take it right out. And you would connect in your red wire. Be sure to give it a good pull so it latches and just put it right in the side of that one. And now we have the parallel connection here. So now the wiring is done. That's simple, get rid of that ballast. So now we can put her back together. So we take our little sockets and slide them into the housing. They always kind of goofy, they just kind of sit ever so. And this end have the sockets that don't have any wires, but they still gotta go on to support the bulb. And now we got to make sure our little tabs line up right. And we can push till that other tab pops up. 
Same down here. There we go, now it's secured by the tabs. And we can put our screw back in. Put this new sticker on it, because right now this sticker says you gotta use a certain type of fluorescent bulbs, but we just changed this whole light to LEDs. I'm gonna go cover that sticker up with the new sticker. That way, you know, if you ever sell the light or, you know, you move houses, if anybody come in, they'll see right away Caution, need to use certain bulbs, new bulbs, not the style whatever it came with. This special light now. So just one of those helps the next guy. Or you if you forgot you swapped it. Well normally you're supposed to have like a chain kit for these things, but this one been hard mounted and Mongo don't have it. So just cut out some galvanized electric fence wire, put a little loop in it, with a little hook, that way it comes out something like that and it'll hang real nice. Now it hangs something like that. Yep, she not pretty, everybody, but she hanging just perfect. And so we get our bulbs out. And they'll go in the same way that the other ones came out. They got those two little slots. I line them up and twist them in. Now we can test it. Yeah, it'll look like this one backwards. So we just spin that around the other way. Nice bright work area. So just remember, it pretty simple to do. Just make sure if you want to get the bulbs that bypass or get the bulbs that are direct fit. Well, if you like this video, be sure to like this video. If you like this video and other videos from Mongo Fix, be sure to subscribe. Mongo is working on all sorts of stuff. Mongo, thank you.